The definition of traumatic brain injury is, number one, that there's an external mechanical force, number two, that there's brain dysfunction. But you don't have to hit your head to have the brain move about in the skull and either stretch the, the nerve cells or the, the neural elements inside the, in the brain, and that can cause brain dysfunction without actually hitting your head. Um, and so it, it's important um, when, when you, know, you develop these kind of symptoms after some oftentimes minor you know, um, tussle of some kind or, or a minor fall that um, uh, it, it should occur to you that it might be, you know, your irritability or your difficulty sleeping or, or some headache or, or things like that. It might be due to, to a traumatic brain injury. Um, but uh, but the, the most important thing is to get it evaluated so that it doesn't go on. So it doesn't limit how you feel. It doesn't limit how you're able to work or interact with your family. It's more common for low uh, level intensity injuries to occur. There are many, 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 that, many, many more um, sort of, if you will, concussive injuries or injuries that aren't associated with loss of consciousness or loss of memory or anything like that. Relatively mild, if you will, uh, 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 traumatic brain injuries. Overwhelming, well, over 50% of, of, of those that occur in the nation are in that category. The most common scenario uh, that traumatic brain injury occurs in uh, uh, the United States, over in the world, uh, and this has been the case for many years, is elderly people that fall. Um, these are, they're not involved in sporting activities, they're not involved in, in combat. They're, um, these are individuals for many, many, many reasons um, that are unsteady on their feet, generally speaking, or are other circumstances and they fall and hit their head. Uh, that, that is the most common scenario. And, and, for, and that is an external mechanical force that causes brain dysfunction. And so I, th I think it's important for everyone to realize that, that brain injury, even though um, there's a lot uh, in the media and in the press that, that um, you know, professional athletes and college athletes and, and, uh, are, are you know, getting more concussions and so forth, that is, that is a small percentage of what happens in our community and in, in, in our nation. Um, and I'm, I'm in no way diminishing the importance of, of that because that is of, of incredible importance. Um, but if you look at overall the epidemiology of traumatic brain injury in the United States, um, the largest percentage are elderly, uh, occur in elderly individuals that fall. It's tough to really generally tell you how you manage traumatic brain injury because it's different for every individual. That's why it's important that there's a team of experienced clinicians um, that can be specifically uh, chosen to, to bring their expertise uh, to help minimize the duration of these symptoms.